So this idea uh, was kind of grew out of us studying something called space-based solar power, okay. which is a very old concept. Um, one of the really cool things about the space industry is that science fiction writers have been writing about all the cool things that we're going to yeah. do in space one day for, sure. um, <laughs> for literally decades longer than we could even go to space. Right. Um, so space-based solar power is, an old, you know, is like goes back to Arthur C. Clarke and famous, famous science fiction writers like that. And that concept is to collect a bunch of energy with a big solar solar rays in space, mm -hmm. turn that into like microwaves and like beam that down to some place on the planet. Um, that's really technically challenging, really dangerous, um, but could be a way to be totally, you know, oil independent and power cities, countries. Okay. Uh, so we were looking at that. We're like, that's really interesting. We don't think the technology is here yet, but where else do people, where else are people power constrained? Yeah. Which kind of gets back to satellites. Um, and so we developed the concept and fo to focus, pardon the pun, on satellites. Um, there are a few folks in uh, Canada and the UK uh, and then one one smaller company out in LA that are, you know, also kind of focusing on power beaming either to other satellites or to the lunar surface. Okay. Um, but we're particularly proud of the way that we're approaching uh, the technology because we're trying, we're putting a lot of emphasis on making it so it's kind of backward compatible. Okay. Um, so our customers don't have to retrofit, don't have to buy a custom receiver from us. That's a big deal. Because because that's always a barrier to, to adoption. Of course. Right? People think, oh, great, I want to use this, but now I have to go spend more money because I have to retrofit that. Too. Exactly. It's like, you know, people kind of come along and say, hey, buy my gas cap so that I can refuel you. And it's like, well, why would I waste money on a gas cap if there's no gas station? Right. And that's the kind of, the, that's the hurdle that we're overcoming by sending energy that solar rays on, existing solar rays on existing satellites are compatible with.